Have you ever wondered what people think about you being on TRT? Well, we're going to discuss it after this, so keep watching. Hi, I'm Mike, the founder of Balance My Hormones, where we support men and women on their journey to optimal hormone balance. If you're new to the channel, please like or subscribe and leave comments to get future content. Welcome back to another Balance My Hormones video. We're here today with Dr. George Tiliatos, and we're in Birmingham at the NEC for the Arnold Fitness Expo, one of the first of its kind in the UK and uh, we're really happy to have Dr. George Suliatos with us today. Uh, we're going to discuss a few topics. One of them is, what's the general perception out there of TRT? You know, TRT's been around for over, well, for many years, 25 years at least. Uh, I'm, I know I've been on TRT for at least 25 years, so I know it's been going on for even longer than that. We're going to speak about what's the general perception between your partner or your spouse, your friends, your family, uh, and even yourself. So, uh, hi, Dr. George, welcome. Hello, Michael. Welcome Thank you for UK. bringing me here at the Fitness, Arnold Fitness Expo in Birmingham. It's been a while since we met uh, in Columbus, Ohio, the Arnold Classic. Absolutely. Two years, one year ago, actually. 18 months ago, nearly. Yeah, so just before the COVID. So, glad to be here and meet a few friends of mine and uh, actually people that follow me and uh, engage the overall TRT, you know, uh, perspective and people are more outspoken now and uh, more familiar about what replacement therapy uh, actually is okay because there's a lot of misinformation about mixing uh, steroids and uh, the social so, replacement so you know some men are very very cautious or shy or or, or are very close about being on trt there's still a perception out there that maybe this isn't you know, not, not, not something I want to tell people about. Yes, there's a lot of uh, prejudice and skepticism in the endocrinological society, to a lesser degree to the urologist, about how necessary is replacement therapy. The point is, when somebody faces low testosterone levels and the so-called andropause or hypogonadism, for whatever that reason is, you start developing serious issues like depression, erectile dysfunction, metabolic syndrome, diabetes, that will lead to cardiovascular disease. Okay, so replacement therapy about health, longevity, it has nothing to do with abuse of testosterone or any other kind of steroids. It's about well-being, actually. So I, th I think, like, like you're saying, if someone realizes that they're benefiting their own health with TRT, that they're not hurting their health, because I think that's an overriding factor for many guys I it's speak to. It's about optimization. Yeah, they wonder, am, am I doing something naughty? Am I doing something I shouldn't be doing? But when you realize it's about it actually improving your health, improving your longevity, when it's done properly, then, then it's okay. So that's from the point of view of the person considering TRT. But what about how that perception goes with you know, partners and spouses and even friends. What, what, what's your thought about what other people think of, of, of the TRT? Yeah, several patients of mine and friends, they're starting uh, asking me, what should I do if I have these symptoms? And actually, you, you need to verify the symptoms, the clinical symptoms under the physical examination, along with the blood work. And then if they match, uh, you certainly need to go into replacement therapy because the very few potential side effects you're going to face out of replacement therapy if you are not optimized are way more than the side effects you're going to face out of the hypogonadic status. All right, so again, when friends and family know that what you're doing is again beneficial to your health and wellness, they will mostly respect that. Though there's always a holdout, aren't there? There are people who think it's just better to be all natural and somehow, even if you have the disease of hypogonadism, somehow treating it with testosterone is, isn't natural, but that can't be right. It's a replacement therapy like it is with diabetes, with thyroid hormones, with cortisone. Okay, so if you don't produce any more, you should supplement it. The point is, what's the big deal if you, uh, you shut off, obviously, your own production, but nevertheless, it's not enough to keep you healthy so we don't care about the, the, the shutting off as long as we have good health with the exogenous uh, supp supplementation of the hormones well i think i think that's reasonable um 
as long as you're not abusing, as long as you're doing it on, on a TRT basis, keeping it balanced. Uh, so it's know. about both for physical and mental health, okay, in a way that the, the system does not realize the exogenous supply, but you are under optimization of the hormones. So it's all about optimizing and, and, and being um, the best you that, that you can be. And if your body's not making its own hormones, then you know what, by all means, there's nothing wrong with, with replacing uh, your hormones with, with natural bioidentical hormones. So, um, and, and then you should be able to have your friends and family and partners understand uh, that you're doing what's best for your health, just as if you were diabetic or, or had any other issues. So I think that's it on our end. Um, do you have anything else to say? Yeah, so men have a chance to live a second puberty and be more vital again, you know, and become alpha males Absolutely. as soon as they hit andropause and feel that they are aging. So we can reverse aging by replacing the hormones. This is the substantial 50% uh, and the basis of the proper age management. Amazing. So that's it for this topic. We'll have some more coming from the Arnold. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe and like the video. If you like it, if you dislike it, like and, and tell us in the comments. And also tell us in the comments uh, if you had a certain perception about TRT.